Hello, and thank you for rejoining me here in the Thousand Week Reich. I'm your host, of course, Mr. Mocha Lover, and let us continue playing as that GGR. Which actually reminds me of DDR, but the Greta German Reich. So, last time, we struggled quite a bit, and we have a good reason for that. We struggled and got 1,300 political power. Can you believe that? We got 1,300 political power in one episode. And as someone pointed out yesterday, who I think who might be a chat mod on my Discord server, maybe, maybe not. He said that the reason why we had such a deficit of political power is to balance us out because that is literally the cost to avoid the civil war and prevents us from becoming too OP. So it's actually a good, really, really good uh, thing there. That was actually really uh, smart, really smart from the all-German construction company. Right now, I want to spend some political power so we can raise our support. Maybe uh, purchase political favors. Uh, we want more support. That probably be good. Let's try that. It's only thirty-five political power. Not bad. And chromium trade with Republic of Turkey was terminated because of the lack of civilian factories. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. Uh, well, we'll deal with that. We're, we are currently refitting the Navy. They're doing a whole lot of ship stuff around here, which is, you know, fine with me. Probably training, retraining, getting more XP, all the good stuff, you know. The normal, normal good stuff. All I care about right now is getting Spear support to be as high as possible. We have some Messerschmitt ME 300. The island's fancy. Yes, I, I know numbers sometimes. It's 56 right now. Let's see. I don't know. Well, we could use tactical bombers. We'll, we'll make them. We must well research them, right? We might as well send German support. I think we good. Bye bye. Refit the Navy. All right. So we're going to incre increase our support because we need to do the Reichsreform. And we need more than 99 political power, but we need enough support to do that. So more Navy stuff. Oh, we can't do invasion fleet. Ah, oh, Gobi has to lead the country. Oh, that sucks. Uh, oh, that makes sense why he can do sea line and then naval frenzy. Ooh. Less sword efficiency. This is really weird. Less naval XP gain, less naval hit chance, less escort efficiency, but more output. And refitting costs. Okay. Uh, destroyer fleet. We have no need of an offensive fleet. It is a waste of money, a strategic inconvenience, and a drain on our, re on our resource deposits. What is needed is a fleet capable of rapid defense of our long shoreline, one that can respond to a variety of targets while retaining uniformity of operating doctrine. The answer to our problems is a destroyer, humble, lightweight, and so versatile that Americans have not yet abandoned it. A around this ship class, the new German Navy will resolve. Ah, we must make some destroyers, which... Oh. Mongolian People's Republic. Well, good luck. You the Russian Republic is getting nice and thick. Wow. Wow. Well, don't trust me, guys. You're doing actually pretty darn well. We are making some destroyers here, so... Or at least that's that's a plan. Uh, let's see, what else? Co a couple comments yesterday. Uh, what is a nation next to Slovakia? Uh, it's me, Germany. Uh, but someone also... I Actually, I, th I, think I, I think I even said this yesterday. And I hope I don't trip over my own words like I just did. But this is the Republic of Karpatho, Ukraine. So, as an American, this looks completely wrong and illogical. Because Ukraine... Well, it's all the way over here. And they're not getting the view. Oh, it's over here. They're not getting the view. Lviv, the view. No, no, no. So if you want to become Karpatho, Ukraine, just join Slovakia. I don't know why Slovakia doesn't have a core on it. Then again, I'm an American. And all this, I I would also say might be a Hungarian. Probably not Romanian, but maybe a Hungarian because it has Hungary there. Regardless, I don't know. Uh, what else can we do? Real assessments. We crushed a terrorist last time, which was cool. We got propaganda efforts. That one's okay. Political actions. Expand the aluminum plant. Uh, propaganda Ost. We're kind of okay with that, too. Form the Sperrklick. Less political power. Form the all-German construction company. Use political favors. You get more daily political power, but we lose support for Speer. To, for Speer. No, 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 no. Support for Speer increases. Create the National Socialistischer Codex. Ah, oh, yeah. Low support, and hopefully we get some more support because we still are kind of low, which is not good. But let's grab some naval strike torpedo tactics. Yeah, please. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully we can go to war with someone here, but Thomas Dewey just inaugurated. Happy 1957, my friends. New year, new us, and I gotta keep an eye on this because we have too many divisions down here. One, two, come here. Thank you. And then, one, two, get another army going here. Cool. A little bit of lag, that's fine. I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna redo this just so that we can do this as well. Uh, Y'all come there. Please don't. Please give it to the right armies that actually need divisions like that. Please, please, please. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Modernization camp. Oh, 0.95. We still get less than one a day. But at least we're out of our deficit. And we do need to get 99. So how much support do we have now? We have destroyer fleet. We probably still can't do. Yeah, we can't do that one yet. That's fine. That's fine. You know, whatever. Whatever. I'm not complaining about that. Totally not. Political favors. No, thank you. Construction company. The form of the Speerklick. 
Oh yeah, well the Gauleiter is under control and his rule largely secured. Speer's next maneuver is to establish a Speerite faction, a faction that is similar to his very own beliefs. Motorized rocket artillery, because we are somewhat running out of things to research. Muzzle brakes, awesome. Muzzle brakes are nice. How do I... Hmm, how do, do I have a muzzle brake on? Never mind. Uh, let's see, artillery. We could definitely use more artillery. APCs are great. Anti-tank is great. Maybe a little too great. Let's see, anti-tank. Uh, lower you to five for now. Uh, destroy our fleet is awesome. Let's go ahead and grab submarine production. We have not quite forgotten the workhorses of our navy, and the undersea Untersee Boot program is about to get overhauled and its funding expanded beyond its wildest dreams. The submarine must be rethought in every aspect to fit the new world and its frightening new technologies. New engines invented, efficiency increased. It is a dream come true for the submarine expert of the Kriegsmarine, and will never see the nightmarish accounting arrears that are the cost of pursuing it. Let us pray that they will never see the ugly truth. Ah, the ugly truth. Sometimes the truth can be pretty, sometimes it's really ugly. Uh, when removed, we get more support. Uh, yes please. We want as much support as possible. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. But getting more support is always good. Ground support integration, convoy interdiction. Oh, also, we need to talk about land auction as soon as one of these two are done. Which happened on the same day, which is fine. Ooh, less than a million manpower. Oh, boy. Oh, and these guys need generals, too. Well, General. Klusha, uh, Blaskovitz. Blasty Blaskovitz. Oh, boy. yes, please. Don't mind if I do. And over here, we're going to use Olbrich. Nice. Also an infantry expert and an organizer. That's nice. And convoy interdiction and ground support integration. So let's come over here. So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do combined operations, asymmetric warfare, or strategic theorem. Now the support for combined operations as well as strategic theorem, not too much for asymmetric warfare. Someone also recommended I choose one that uses the tank tanks the most. So I'm not sure which one that is. But overall there was more support for strategic theorem. So extensive planning and preparation along with proper reserves is key in a large scale war. So we shall choose that one. Because it was what you guys recommended overall uh, at the time of this recording. So, very, very nice. So, I mean, Pearl Doc Sean. And are we still low? That's fine. Because in a few days, hopefully within 20 days, we get quite a bit more support. That'd be nice. Use political favors? No, 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 no. The former all German construction company, the Speerklick. Not a bad idea. We're still getting 0.8 a day. Are there any conflicts going on in the world besides Russia killing off Mongolia? Here with Memorial Day? Great. Awesome. 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 I love it. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and form the all German construction company. It says we're going to get an event, but let's see if we actually get one. Hopefully we do. Hope we do. No. Oh, medium support. Nice. Hopefully we get even more support. National Socialistische Codex. Ah, under a single vision of immortalizing Mr. Schmittler. National social scholars, jurists, philosophers were gathered to grab the National Socialistic Codex, the magnus, magnum opus of National Socialism, a codex designed to be the base of all forms of systems, laws and living under pure, truthful guidelines laid by Mr. Adolf Hitler himself. Did Hitler have a middle name? Hmm. The National Socialistic Codex will function as a second book of law and a doctrine for all regimes from this point forward. All soldiers, party members, and public servants are issued a copy of the National Socialistic Codex as a way for Aryans to remind themselves constantly of National Socialist values. The codex is born. He looks very stern. And maybe dead, but that's just me. Uh, let's go form the clique. We might as well, right? Awesome. And 50 days, 28 days. Oh, cool. And actually, can we do the focus now, maybe? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, yes, we have enough political support, which actually decreases our support. We get actually more political power, and we lose popularity of uh, that NSDAP. The Na NISDAP. Nistap. Oh, five days. Cool. That's not bad. How many more days? Okay, four more days. We're gonna, we'll probably get this one done first. In which we're probably going to grab MG Spy. Yep, and before, I know people. some people like to read this stuff, so. Machine Guns 2. Very nice. And let's, we can't do that because we don't have enough political power. But that's fine. Limited naval spendings, even though we just spend a lot on subs. We've committed to a sleek and downsized naval force, and we'll, now we must be we work. We, now we must work to bring it into being. The first step will be downsizing the bloated maintenance budgets for the Navy. Cutting forever our ties with the silent horror of the Schiessenflotte. Let us hope that these battleships serve us no purpose, which serve us no purpose, and can barely stand straight at harbor, can at least perform one final function, an efficient and cheap base for scrap metal. Oh no. Limited naval spendings? Oh, reli why? Reliability goes down. Oh, I don't want lower reliability. I like having reliable things. It goes here as day. Uh, political favors? No, no, no. Why would we even want to do that? That doesn't make any sense. How many factories do we have? None. Okay. Okay. Why not? 
At this point, we might as well just save up for more political power. We drop from 0.95 to 0.75. Oh my goodness, that is so not bueno. Uh, we're pretty much done here, though. That's good. Air Doctrine, we could do that. We might as well. Battlefield support for more air superiority is a very fine thing to grab, my friends. Uh, oh, the National Club. Our spear through persuasion and personal connections has managed to gather a group of like-minded individuals to form an informal faction within the NSDAP, the National Club. While this group is technically not an approved political organization within the party, these ministers and members are willing partners of the Spear regime, willing to discuss pol policies and provide input directly. The National Club includes notable members such as Carl Hanke, Robert Ley, and Carl Kaufman, influential members of the government on a national and local level. The National G Club meets in an unknown clubhouse twice a month, where matters on national level and party issues are addressed and handled. Besides the National Club's devotion to Speer, the group is largely without a set ideology besides their common belief in National Socialism, which every single German possesses. The club is formed. Oh, political power, nice. Mm, you know what, I'm gonna go and do this again. Because we have meat, oh, I thought I was supposed to go up some more, that's fine. Medium support, let's get it to high, and we have enough political power, so the next focus, as much as I would love to get rid of uh, oversized Kriegsmarine, we pretty much have to do the Reichsreform. Support for Speer decreases, which is unfortunate. Yeah, not bueno, but it is what it is. Oh, actually, can I go here? No, we cannot go to War Economy. Uh, Minister of Security. Actually, that's not bad at do. Less manpower, more political power, more resources, more factories. Ooh. Oh, Hemley. I can't I can't select you. He's actually pretty good. Minus 10% consumer goods, factories, and more resource efficiency gain. <sighs> oh, don't we miss the Reichsführer SS. Oh, we're done with the Naval Doctrine. We've got a gosh darn good Navy, I'd say, then. Uh, over here, this is all ahead of time. Over here, this is all ahead of time. Over here, it is all ahead of time, and 22 years, god dang. And over here, well, we can't do that any further. I uh, was so doing strategic theorem. Ah, engine upgrade Eins for more speed for fact panzers that we'll never use. It is what it is. Navy National Socialist Emergency. It has gone to war with them. The Aldeutsche Bau Firma. Mimicking the Reichswehr. Reichswerke Hermann Goring. Speers made the decision to form a cooperation corporation that defies all regulations, Aldeutsche Baufirma. This corporation is intended to function as Germany's go-to construction contractor, with their future pr construction projects being Speers' personal pet projects. All current and future government pro public projects will be contracted to this company, with material firms required to cooperate when the company requests. In classic fashion, the board of directors for the company is made up of Speers' confidence and allies, but structured in a way where efficiency is ensured in the, execu in ex in the execution branch of the company. This is vision is true to most local management positions, with one exception. Speer appointed his son, Albert Speer Jr., as a secretary, whom has not even finished his education, demonstrating a nepotistic move to ensure a smooth corporate transfer in the future, preparing for a time when the father finally decides to hand his corporate empire to the hands of his son. It's time for construction. Ooh, we lose consumer goods, but we get 30% more construction speed. That's great. If we could use factories. Ah, why, why, why? Why, 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 why? Why do you hurt me so much? We could lower our support, but that'd be stupid. Oh, that's why we, th we got 10% right here, so. In a few days, we can maybe get some more support. And there goes Albania. And naval strike torpedo tactics. Very, very good. Uh, strategic destruction. Thank you very much. Very awesome. Hey, look at that high support. I think it's time. Oh, Spau, he's bringing Germany back online. Ah, oh, the Reich's reform, reform is a title created by Speer, describing a series of great reforms that would shake Germany into its call. Some in the party openly express their concerns for this project, stating that Speer simply doesn't have the will nor the political capital to achieve such a proud task, but Speer is determined to prove them wrong. The Reich's Reform. Absolutely mandatory. And hopefully no one goes to war with us. That would not be very good. Still have high support, which is awesome. <gasps> we have factories! Whoa! And we completed within two weeks. Nice. Oh, there goes the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Wait, what? You went to war with both? Nope. You know, you claim you want to be more reformed. Maybe, maybe not. You went full fascist now. Wow. Mayor Nostrum, of course you would. Colonial stability effort, of course. Colonial education focus, of course. Mediterranean Union member, of course. So they went down this way the last time. A Southern U European front reconquering Albania. So that they must have just finished up their focuses. Okay. At least on the right side. Interesting, interesting to say the least. Um, Are you just going like, to kill everyone down here? Or are you going to colonize it? What's going to happen over here, man? M Mussolini, Musso, uh, BM, Benny, Benito, Benny Musso. What are you doing? Just don't mess with Benat, because that's our son. That's one of our sons. Uh, engine upgrades, nice. Got some engine upgrades. Let's grab none of that. But the Waffenträger auf E. Fumsisch. 
What the heck is this? This is an artillery tank. Ooh, MG Spy. Great. Uh, we can't do that one yet. Uh, yeah, special forces, yes. Special forces, good. Uh, yeah. We lose consumer goods. I just want to keep building for now. Maybe at least get 15 and then 1. Because we already have high support. We don't really need more support until we do the Reich's reforms. Which, if we really wanted to, we could reach... Uh, read the next... Yeah, we must well read, read the next event. Reshipping the NSDAP. The group, the party, has been suffering from a strange identity. Reforms of the party itself might be important for a functional government. By revoking and demoting functional members that hold high rankings in the party, this can streamline the structure and create a better system. Wow, we lose... Wait, so we get plus negative... Fracture form is underway. Negative plus 1.1 minus 10%. 25% stability goes down. And social socialism drift goes up by minus 0 0.05. Even less support for Spiat. Reform the NSDAP. Oh. Oh, we can't do that one yet. Oh, we need more political support. That is okay. So we got to keep buying this then. So we've read the thing. and Okay, that's the case. I'm not going to read it again, but we can do a capable navy. At long last, our navy is awoken from the long nightmare that began in the Kaiser's dreams. The high seas fleet and its nauseating stupidity, its delusion of grandeur, its ceaseless strategic burden has ended. Now comes the time of a new and capable German naval fleet. Unburdened but effective, capable of swift defense and ready for the future. Let the world sneer at our rustling hulks. Beneath the surface, the serpent lies in wait. Awesome. Which means... Mutual assistance stuff. We get... 5% more fleet coordination, 20% more sortie efficiency, 10% more naval hit chance, speed, and convoy rating efficiency, plus 20% naval experience gain, so no wonder we're not getting that much naval XP, even though we get roughly one a day, and plus, or minus 40% naval equipment or fitting costs, and minus 10% consumer goods factory stuff. Oh, we're, we went straight down to low. Wow, we gotta go probably high both times then. No matter, we shall do well. We shall. At this point, I'm tempted to even do this for IFEs, which we're not even using anymore. I got rid of those a while ago, so... Yeah. 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 Porsche. Hmm, Porsche, huh? Sounds expensive. Henschel and Son? Hey, that seems kind of cheap-ish. Minus 25% production cost. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Wow. Minus 10% there. That's not bad either. We get more soft attack, too, from this one. And this one, they just use minus red minus 10% fuel usage. Does it mean plus 10% fuel usage? Hmm. Bothenzager. Cool. Grab some engine upgrades for that thing that we'll never use. And we have medium support. Please, can we get some more support, please? Please, 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 please. No? Okay. If that's the case, then we're pretty much stuck waiting to do this one, which we really want to do. Ah, uh, support for So basically, we got to increase our support at all times. Which is, eh, it's okay. It could be worse. Uh, forward interception plus 50% interception defense. Yes, please. And, oh, it's right there. Let's see what happens. We can't, we don't get that much political power anyways. We get 1.14, which is not that much more than normal. So, propaganda offs, nothing there. Prospect for resources, nothing there. Uh, political actions, not really much we can do. Operations, we already crushed the terrorists. Diplomatic decisions, we could send some supplies. Uh, actually, maybe how about Burgundy? Let's try that. Banat. Oh, let's go ahead and do, uh, there we go. That is Gotland, Benat. Ah, there it is. They get less resistance target. Here, you can have some stuff. It costs us 30 political power, which is fine. There you go. See what you can do. Because they probably have 60%. That's not good. 0 0.8, 0 0.7. Hey, it's going down. That's good. Controllers at peace. German support minus 50%. 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. Point one, nice. Civilian oversight. Garrison fulfillment. Oh. Oh, they must have no manpower. Oh boy, that's not good. Rudimentary uh, composite ceramics. That'd be great. And hopefully, get high levels because uh, nation like businesses. Uh, that's okay. The corporate state. Revamping the government. Let's. Uh, national socialist drift. Get more political power though. That's not bad. Full liberalization. We lose stability. Free trade. Sounds really terrible. Economy first focus. Completes the focus Speer economics. Ooh, I like this one. Very nice. Defining Germany. Strongman politics. I'm going to go with the revamping the government next, probably. Engine upgrade one. Let's grab some uh, improved shells. 20% more soft attack is not not bad. Wow. Uh, I usually like going with 
this one advanced special forces training so that our divisions are even stronger 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 wow that's that's actually really really good so because now unfortunately our support will decrease and hopefully we can get some more support very soon because if not well that would be very good for us and we have reshaped the nsdap reform I mean, the NSDAP, the Nazi party is a behemoth with a dozen of branches, wings that cover all aspects of life. But this behemoth overly, overly complicated bureaucratic nightmare or structure with unnecessary departments staying afloat due to negligence. These useless departments with their functioning less leaders should not be ignored. And the potential of saving resources meant the con that consolidating different departments and wings to a manageable number means these departments or these uh, departments should be disbanded. However, in terms of politicking, a great number of departments would serve as an internal vision of divide and conquer, ensuring spirit is uh, confidence leadership. Divide and conquer, consolidate the branches. Uh, ooh, hmm. Hold on. Oh, the phone. That's enough political support. Does it matter which one we do? Reshaping the NSDAP, reshaping. Um, request for localization. No, this seems pretty normal. Uh, does it affect anything over here for civil engineering back into the fold? Oh, we can reunite the commissariats. Oh, yes, please, yes. Oh, I wanted that so badly. Uh, value of slave labor. Or, oh. It doesn't seem like it affects anything, but it'll prob we'll probably find out later on. Mm hmm. Should be disbanded. A great number of departments would serve an internal vision of divide and conquer. Uh, whew, I don't want to lose any more political power, I'll be honest here. But we already have 200, so if we lose some political power, that doesn't really matter to us too much. Establish new groups. Consolidate the branches. Uh, I want to get more... Let's do Divide and Conquer. I don't know. Is that bad? That might be bad. The National Socialistische Architect in Kammer is a group envisioned by Speer, an organization that all German architects shall join and follow. Cool. Such words as fate and belief are often used by religious authorities, ones that Goebbies or Goebbels has despised. But there is one exception, the total devotion toward Adolf Hitler to the level of the religious status. In the past couple weeks, Goebbels has ordered the construction of a great number of Hitler's shrines around Germany, encouraging his citizens to outright worship Adolf Hitler and the National Socialist Revolution, branding items such as the Blutfahne as borderline sacred. While technically not an attempt of forming a new religion, this style of Hitler worship is more worshipping more fanatical than the one seen during Hitler's regime has, can certainly be described as the Goebbels' very own non-religious religion of the Reich. Glorious failure, plus, plus, oh my gosh, 0.5 a day, 10% stability, more support, and 100 political power, Heil, Hitler. Don't take that out of context, please. Whatever. End of the Gibraltar crisis. Oh. Oh. At least nobody died. Well, oh, that's sad. I would have just pushed it, probably. That's true. The UK, right, uh, Led by Butler are a bunch of bullies. They refuse to give up rightfully Sp rightful Spanish territory. The only reason why I'm supporting Spain is because they oppose the UK. Mm, prospect for resources. Uh, we do we need more stability that way? No, we're kind of okay. Uh, buy 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 stuff. Buy political support, please. Hey, look at that. Now we get 0.89. Do we still have? No, we don't. Economic stagnation. Oh, 70% minus. Oh, what? Oh, we actually have. Oh, this is. Oh, this is an actual company. All Deutsche, Bauforma. I didn't realize that. Okay, cool. Awesome. Now we're probably getting a butt load, and this is a big old butt. Two point three political power day. Not bad, because we cannot do anything else. <sighs> because we need to get more support, which is going to take some time. And in the meantime, can I grab anybody? It's available, selectable, less population, but more organization or political power. I mean. Eh, Geisla, more stability, crooked kleptocrat. No, thank you. Ideology drift defense, we still have 100%. Frick, stability, improved shells. Wow, that X guy looks garbage. Joel Hansen, resources, stability, local factories, and local manpower. That's not bad. And now we should continue with. Did something else me? Please? Okay, flamethrowers! Flammenwerfer, yes! And... Oh, we can only do this one. Has enough political support. We don't have enough political support. God dang it. 56 days, we must well do this one first time. By treating businesses as a piece of national property, their well-respected and supported cooperations will be able to expand like never before seen. And this will benefit the position of German industry and economic power on the world stage. Oh, I wish we could get more support. Because, are we going to lose support from doing this? Yes, we will, which is not ideal. If that's the case, who else do we have up here? Oh, not him there. Lose manpower for more political power resources and stuff like that. Slightly less recruitable population. 
Silent. Uh, let's do that. It doesn't give us that much more political power, but it does lower our consumer goods factories by 2%, which I will actually gladly take for now. Over here, anything else? 1960? Not yet. Happy 1958, though, my friends. So, if that's the new year, new us. Let's grab some chemicals. G Series? Uh, couldn't hurt us, right? Can't hurt us that badly, right? Please, I just want more political support for Speer. Please. Please. Support is nice. Support is always good. Actually, what are we building right now? With minus 2% more. Hey, 15, 15, 4? Well, that ain't bad, man. That really ain't bad as we're building, building, building. Oh, I love it. Strategic Theorem. Nice. At least we still got all this to do. Uh, strategic Developments or Deployments. Plus 10% Defense. 5% more Attack. And plus 15. A flat 15 organization, which is not bad. Come on, please, please, please. Italy. Oh, oh. Whoa. That is... I was not expecting this. What happened here? Why? Why did they go to war? Of all nations, Menderes, uh, they're fairly democratic and liberal conservatism. Uh, and how badly does that hurt us? Eh, it could be much worse. Whoa, I was not expecting them to kill each other off. And we lost some more support. Oh boy. Early autoloader is very nice. Go ahead and grab, oh, I don't know what to grab it now at this point. Oh, Field Hospital 2 is good. Um, we have low support still. Can I send volunteers? Please let me send volunteers. I can't send volunteers. Well, I'm, I want Turkey to do well because Italy hates us. So Turkey, buddies, buddies. Oh, that sucks. That, that group died. Imposing influences. Oh, weekly stability goes down. They have no stability now, huh? Hmm. Buddies, the Turks. The Turks and Germans have always been buddies. Here with Memorial Day, great. Awesome to see that stuff, I guess. March 31st, soon enough we'll have even more civilian factories to use, which will be great. Advanced Special Forces training. Uh, what else? Oh, Cobras, yes. Rock Rakitenwerfer. Yes. Good. Very good stuff. Wow, we've spent so long that the only deficits we have are for CV, fire equipment, medium tanks, and artillery. Wow. How are the CVs doing? Uh, go to three, go to three, because we have so many carriers. Not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Anything here? Attack bombers? Probably not. Probably not transports either. Yeah, heavy SP artillery. Uh, I mean, I, I love SP artillery. You know, don't get me wrong. But, actually, you have 33 soft attack versus 80. Jesus Christ, that looks so good. But I'm not going to use it. I'm, I barely use a lot of the stuff. Uh, nothing here yet. That's fine. God dang, that's so much soft attack. I'd hate to be on the receiving end of that stuff. Oh my goodness, Heroes Day is gone. Um, uh, we don't have to get more political power. What I'm thinking. Bombing buffers. Burning stuff, I guess. Uh, 60. I might just let time go on, maybe, because... Oh, we get guns. SIG. STGs. Drei und Dreisisch. Cool. We're really running out of stuff to re research. I guess we can do one more, uh, research thing in the research department, but that's okay. Just want to get more support, man. Just want to get a little bit more support. Oh, oh, hello. Did you get bigger? Oh, your name changed. Oh, did you... Oh, you didn't actually just straight up annex them. You just... Puppet did them. Interesting flag. Mayday, I think you workers. The puppet of Russia. And the by Zigarev. Zigarev. Yeah, I guess fight. Diplomatic decisions. Send some support. I guess we could continue sending some support here. Uh, but does anyone have, like, resistance issues? Not really. Ooh, Slovak Republic? No, I don't think they would have any of that. Oldenstadt, Ausland? I mean, I can't imagine Ausland would have... Oopsie. Uh, too much... Oh, we actually own Adolfsburg. Oh, I realize that's just... I re okay, that's Adolfsburg. Okay. Whatever. Cool. I just realized that was called Adolfsburg. Um, how about over here? Are you guys doing okay? That's fine. Yeah, I don't know, because all these areas are just already cored, so I don't want to just waste political power. Who is this? No, is Norway still under us? No, I mean, I'm looking for places that have resistance, and I can help them out. Send some more. Good hospital little twos. Um... What else can I do? Maybe nothing. I'm just going to go get better carrier holes. Why not? That's 301 days. And then maybe we'll do some research if we get something else done. I don't know. I'm running out of things to select. Uh, send some more support. Okay. 
Can I send even more support now? 2.35 a day. Alright, yeah. We can send it indefinitely then. 43? Going down? Not bad. How much support can I give you? German support for till... Okay, so I only give you enough support for a while. Oh, and we can do this too. Nice, great. So, let's go with revamping the government before we do full liberalization. As respected and honorable as Hitler was, there were simply too many defunct, useless power figures laying around the Reich. Chancellor secretaries that serve no purpose, local departments and ministers whose job is to sit around and waste Reich's marks, this has to change. And with Albert Speer's well thought out plan, cutting down this government would be no problem. We lose support for Speer, but what else is new? Oh, we need. To, oh, we just threw out a lot of guns then by doing that. Oh, crap, that's not good. Cobras, nice. No, 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 no. Hmm. Oh, research then. Biological stuff, it's gonna hurt research speed. I oh, should do this one first. A new generation of missiles. There we go. We got other stuff to do. We, can see we got plenty of stuff to do. I mean, research. Yeah, plenty of research things. Think about Babas. 15, 15, 6. Not bad. Can I get some more support, please? 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 Give me some more support. Our vampire seems to be going slowly further and further down. We're not making like a. That's a lot of light cruisers. Throw them all right here, then. Good luck, guys. Train, train, train. This is a big old navy. Okay, go ahead, all you repair for now. Keep an eye on this. Uh, what else do we have? Over here? No, nothing interesting. No, nothing interesting. Just keep building, because we're doing okay. <clears throat> we're still the second largest economy. America's only 100 more in, in terms of GDP, which is not bad. There we go. Uh, but still, 95, that's not very good. As long as we continue to improve our civilian and factory amount, or maybe just our factory amount in general, I'm not really sure. It might be both. It might just be civilian factories to increase your GDP. If let me know. Do you know if, it's, if we increase our military factories, does that give us more GDP? I want to say no, but I really don't know. Let me know if you know in the comments below, but um, it would be nice if we could at least compete more with America. So, uh, July 29th, good. Even though it didn't really help us, that's okay. Need to buy in Bavaria. Never been. Hopefully it can go someday. And once we revamp the government, hopefully we can do a little few more things here. Uh, we'll probably be defining Germany and then do full liberalization and... <sighs> Really screw ourselves up, so. Ah, so, the government reforms. Following the tradition of complicated bureaucracy, the Nazi government's structure is, is as complicated as a Nazi party. With half official ministries, overlapping ministries, uh, ministries, and many technically government but not government groups, the German government is in dire need of some drastic reforms, with millions wasted on defunct uh, departments. Speer should not fire all unnecessary public servants, then merge these groups into bigger departments. For example, the Reich Treasury Office is merged into the Reich Ministry of Finance, saving the administration some much needed resources to be diverted to a necessary to necessary projects launched by the government. Merge it all. Great. Defining Germany. The borders of Germany are, is a complicated matter, but under Albert Speer, this problem should be resolved once and for all. Actually, I should have, should have went down the other path first. while wow, we got a lot of political power. Just because that could unlock the economic side of the tree so we can get to that eventually because we have to wait to get even more you know support which really sucks right now but it is what it is oh come on you want you didn't give me more come on man come on oh wow okay so at this point we are done training go home subs go home defining germany uh anything else here no that sucks anything else here as well no that sucks okay so on the surface this issue might appear trivial but on an administration level, this is the, the definition of Germany is an important bureaucratic nightmare that could affect decision-making for the residents of these regions. While technically Germany is vaguely divided by metropolitan and colonial regions, these differences were never officially adapted. While Speer might be able to put these existing definitions into the government record, his reformist identity might be enable him to enact some drastic changes to his border issue, cutting down on bureaucratic confusion and related costs. By defining the current Reichskommissariat regions as metropolitan Germany, it will give Germany a single legal claim over these Reichskommissariats despite their self-governance self-governing nature, opening the door of possible expansion for future decisions. All sh ooh. Ooh! I don't know! Ooh, all shall be Germany, define Germany into metropolitan and colonial? Mm, I want more. I really want more. But what I'm thinking right now is that we probably should do all shall be Germany when we play as Goebbels. Because from my understanding, Goebbels just wants to go to kill everyone. Right? Gain support for total war. Oh god, total war, ignite the struggle. Um, so we're going to define Germany into metropolitan colonial areas for now. I think that probably would honestly be the best. Um, yeah. Spirit, we're going to get some better uh, hammer receivers. But yeah, I would love everything to be German. But hey, if we can reform some of these Rocks Commissariats, so be it. 
If you have to go to war with the Soviet Union, so be it. We're going to have a good time regardless. We're doing a little better on guns now, even though we were hitting it. Hurting ourselves a little bit. Oh, we almost have a full army here. Nice. Cool. Uh, start lowering this because we don't need nearly as many soldiers now. There you go. I'm glad I looked at that too. Uh, get enough armies. She Panzer divisions. Oh my goodness. Even all oh, the Greeks are involved. Why did the Greeks take that side? What? Okay. Oh, well, they're back unified. Well, whatever. No real issues then. APC, throw them on there. Throw on the main battle tanks. It's going to be kind of ugly. Um, take you off, actually, and then put you on. That's not bad. That's not great. 5-4? Maybe make it 6-4. Yeah, that actually lowers your organization even more. That's not ideal. Yeah, we're going to need more armor. Oof. Organization stays the same. That's fine. Actually, APC-wise, we'll do motorize. Will that, motorize give us more organization. It lowers our armor, obviously. No, it doesn't. Uh, cavalry gives us more organization of all things. Cavalry gives us more organization. Which, huh? Political favors. That'll be good. Might as well do region-wide industrial integration. Oh, can we go? We can go war economy. Okay. Why not? 15, 15, 0. Oh boy. But that's only because we're doing the focus right now. <clears throat> Limited exports, not bad. We could send some more equipment to, you know, Burgundy, but they don't need any more for now. And we only have a thousand pieces of equipment. Uh, that's looking so much better than before. Oh my goodness. Improved missiles, nice. I love missiles. Uh, that's good. Let's come back over here. Uh, research speed, yes. Atomic research is a good thing to grab. Uh, I could do intelligence agency stuff a 10 factories that's quite a bit the Abwehr obviously has got to be the name for us because we do the little Abwehr Reichs reforms or something like that so that only makes sense that we do that so that's good what else four days we get more support that'll be great and hopefully we can do full liberalization I'm going to read this ahead of time. We have much to learn from the Americans, their secret formula to a super economic powerhouse status. While Germany has followed most of it, we have yet to reach full potential. By freeing the market massively, this will generate wealth and power for a Germanic nation, which will be one of the biggest reform imp reforms implemented by Speer. Free trade, free trade, real stability, support goes down for them. But we got to wait because, well, we just have to wait for it, which kind of sucks. Oh, wow, you got too many planes here, man. How's fighters looking? Y'all, train consumes fuel, which is fine. We get barely get any XP, which is fine. Ah, has been created. Go ahead and do some passive defense, because I'm sure there's going to be people who don't want to see us succeed. A bunch of garbage people. That's what they call them, garbage. Hey, 205. We were 200 earlier, so that's not too bad. Ah, G series. I love G series. G fuel. G fuel. Never had it. The branches are mutually exclusive. Research can only progress in one of the branches. Aerosols. Nice. Oh, that actually gives you benefits. Artillery attack and strategic bombing. Oh, yeah. Idel Ural. Oh, poor, 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 poor. Altai, are you a puppet? You're not yet. Toka. Hello, Toka. Construct a chemical factory. Oh, purchase. Purchase. Nice. Construct a chemical factory. Chem factory. Um. I don't want to do that yet. I'm not really sure that's going to do anything good for us, so let's not do that. I just like doing the research stuff. All we're doing is researching stuff. It's all for a good cause. I swear to God, it is for a good cause. Uh, research efficiency gain. Fuel per oil, which would be very nice if we really, really needed that, which we don't. Research speed, artillery attack. Uh, construction speed, plus 15%. That combined with my 30% from the one thing we did, Emma Meyer, I've got to get that smoocher. Smooch, smooch. But uh, that'd be really cool. 15% stocked on top of 30% would be awesome. Spears reforms. Damage Garrison does go down, which is kind of nice. Uh, there they go. I'm going to go ahead and do... Oh, we don't have enough guns. No, oh, god dang it. I want to help him out some more. Because this probably is not looking... Oh, went back up to 40. Wow. 0. 0.7, 0. 0.9 is going up by 0. 0.2 a day. Jesus. Hey, there we go, my friends. Full liberalization ahead. Yes, please. And let's get some more things here, please. Propaganda us. No, nothing yet. Nope. Nope. Uh, we could get some more stability, but we're okay. Cool. Still 205.875. We're very calcul calculating down here. 
Uh, path to defense, very good. Strategic deployment, Transvolga. Very nice, very nice. Happy 1959. Oh, prepare defense. De Army defense, organization, planning speed, entrenchment, or soft attack and a heart attack. Um, and more planning speed. Max planning. I kind of prefer the max planning, honestly. And this gives our defense even more defense. So, and this is good for defense and attack because it's still more planning. But I prefer more max planning. And you get to some flat organization compared to no more organization. So, organization helps you stay in the battle even longer. I kind of like that quite a bit, actually. And I've got no enemy supplies, supplies, spies here yet, which is a good thing as well. Come on, Speer, just just buy everyone off if you have to. We gotta get as many reforms as possible. But hey, we're at least we're liberalizing. Makes it for a very weird campaign, I'd say. And let's go help out Burgundy some more, just because he. Oh crap! Where'd the guns go? <laughs> where'd the guns go? Um. Don't tell me you made more divisions. Oh, we're we're filled up. Go do that. Do that too. There we go. Uh, yeah. Help him out. And purchase. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. You, I'm sorry. I don't think we need that many divisions. I could be very wrong about this. Oh, God. Those people are just killing each other like crazy now. There we go. That should be better. Maybe help out Burgundy. Uh, let's double check. I don't want to see. 42. Well, yes, we did. Point one. Point zero. Point nine, very good. Uh, anything else? A hammer retarder, very good. Go and transistor computing. Get more research speed because that's always good to grab. Nice. We probably don't need to look at this. Germany declares free trade. A new era for trade, my friends. Full liberalization ahead and economy first policy. By focusing our eyes on the matters of the economy, Germany can quickly rebuild from the swamp that it was trapped in. By admitting Hitler's former policies on economy had major flaws and too few attention. It is the first step towards a Germania filled with gold. Less output, less factory, military factory construction speed, civilian factory construction speed plus 25% for 400 days, and we get focus. Done. Love it. Rebuilding Chinese relations. Aw, oh, yeah. Wait, what? Aw, oh, yeah. Let's do it. Try that. Yeah, so the Soviet Union is really going to town. I'm going to really help these guys out some more, because we want to root out those goddamn terrorist scum. Oh, come on. We're, we're getting so close to having a major battle here between these two. And I love it. Yeah, just keep killing each other. Please keep killing each other. Ah, 1960s carrier. Beautiful. Anything else here? Some dual purpose. We might as well get this one first, and then make the carrier, so... Uh, we need more support, of course. Of course. Strongman politics. We get more political power, more uh, political power gain, stability, and less damage to garrisons. And still 100% for National Socialism. Then again, I don't think they really have a choice whether the people want to be National Socialists or not. Hey, we got two air XP, though. It's kind of nice. 15.59. And are we building anything up here? More passive defense, just in case. Oh, we do have a little bit of uh, activity. Some activity has been noticed around here. Not good. Hero's Day is gone. That's fine. You guys should be able to put these guys down a little better. Point two, point one. China refuses. The Republic of China has refused their gestures of kindness, unwilling to cooperate with Germany to un due to unspecified reasons. Perhaps these people are still holding a grudge for our previous cooperation with the Japanese. They're lost. Now, I think the reason that happened is because earlier, Chiang Kai-shek, who was the leader of China, ac accepted our invitation to do stuff. But now since he's gone, they probably don't want to get involved with us, which kind of sucks. Well, we're just the good guys in this scenario. We're always the good guys, right? Always. Speer economics. And let us conclude with strongman politics. Speer has proven himself to be a different kind of, or different person from Hitler, but has also proven himself to be capable and a strong leader. One that isn't a puppet or push over despite what people thought of him. Beautiful. But unfortunately, that's all the time for we have today, my friends. We have done it. We have liberalized. We have formed things. And we have strongman politics to show for it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all tomorrow when we have a great, great time fixing the economy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.